Effective Academic Writing, Unit 4, Process Paragraphs After completing Unit 4, students will be able to use brainstorming and outlining for collecting information for processing a paragraph, practice time order words in process paragraphs, identify imperative sentences, practice the use of imperatives in a process paragraph, use modal verbs of advice, necessity, and prohibition and edit a paragraph to correct mistakes in the use of imperatives and modals. A process paragraph explains how to do something step by step. The reader should be able to follow the steps to get a desired result. Stimulating Ideas Model Process Paragraph – How to Fight Off a Shark I'll read it for you. Most shark attacks occur near land, typically near or between sandbars where sharks feed. Attacks also happen in areas with steep drop-offs. Sharks gather in these areas because their natural prey is there. Almost any large shark around 6 feet or longer in total length is dangerous to humans. If a shark is coming towards you or attacks you, use anything you have in your position to hit the shark's eyes or gills. These are the areas most sensitive to pain. Make quick, sharp, repeated jabs in these areas. Sharks are predators and will usually only follow through on an attack if they have an advantage. So making the shark unsure of its advantage in any way possible will increase your chances of survival. Contrary to popular opinion, the shark's nose is not the area to attack, unless you cannot reach the eyes or gills. Hitting the shark simply tells it that you are not defenseless. If a shark shows itself to you, it might just be curious and may swim on and leave you alone. If you were under the surface and lucky enough to see an attacking shark, then you do have a good chance of defending yourself if the shark is not too large. Exercise 4, page 78. Answer the questions below in full sentences. Question 1. You are swimming and you see a shark coming towards you. What should you do? You should hit it with anything you have. Question 2. What should you not do? You should not hit it in the nose. Question 3. When you are choosing a place to swim or scuba dive, what sort of places should you stay away from? You should stay away from sandbars or areas with steep drop-offs.